For joining us now, NBC News correspondent Antonia Hilton. Antonia, good to have you with us. So what more have we learned this hour? Well, Eamon, the most critical piece of new information that we have is now the identity of the shooter. NBC News was able to confirm through three independent law enforcement sources the shooter was a man named Brandon Scott Hole, 19 years old. What we still don't know are Brandon's motivations, if he had any connection to this FedEx facility behind me here, or if he knew employees working there that night. And what we also don't know right now is the backstory or the identities of the victims who lost their lives last night, eight of them. And Part of the reason for that is that the investigation over the last several hours has been challenging and chaotic. Uh, the coroner's office was unable to access the site, get in and see the bodies for a while uh, because of the active open crime scene. Uh, they're in there now and they say that their investigation is going to take several hours. And officials say that the process of identifying the bodies, then contacting family members and loved ones and giving them resources and information before names become public is going to be a painstaking and grueling one. And, and what strikes me most is, you know, what we found out is that, you know, the, the events of last night took about one to two minutes from the time that the gunman got out of the car and ended up killing eight people who work behind me here. But now we are hours into this investigation and it remains extremely complex and so many questions unanswered. I want you to take a listen to the chief deputy coroner and what she said earlier today. The staff is definitely suffering and is going to need long term um, counseling re with regard to these types of deaths. Um, it actually has, you know, we've had to pull in all of our 30 staff to conduct these death investigations. We are asking for additional resources so that we will have the capacity to handle these types of death investigations. You can hear the toll that this is taking on their team. And officials told reporters that this is the third mass casualty event in Indianapolis just in this year. You know, and that chaos is not just for the people responding to the scene, but also families who waited for hours at a Holiday Inn nearby trying to find out if their loved ones are still alive. Uh, not that long ago, we met a former employee who stood out here on this field, staring at the warehouse, waiting to find out if his friends and former colleagues were still alive. And, and that is the feeling right now here in this city, uh, that people are waiting on edge to find out more information about the shooter uh, and what's happened uh, to the people who were there last night. Amen. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.